Hi, I'm Chris Gardner with your tip of the day from Practical Help for Your Digital Life. You can find all my tips on my website, and I post lots of them on Facebook, iTunes, and YouTube. I hope you'll join my member-supported website where you can also get tip sheets with helpful links and detailed how-tos. Please join today. Today's tip is about keeping your Android-powered devices safe. With all the talk about the lack of decent computer security these days, lots of folks are wondering what that means for your smartphone. The truth is that there are plenty of threats out there and the risk is growing. Now for the iPhone and iPad, that risk is pretty limited because you can only get apps from the Apple App Store. It's not a 100% guarantee, but it does make it very hard for hackers to gain access to your iPhone. With Android-powered tablets and smartphones, that's a different story. You can get apps for your Android from lots of places, so the risk is much more real. The simplest way to limit your exposure is to only get apps from the Google Play Store. Not too long ago, Google changed their policy so that any updates to apps already downloaded from Google Play must come only from the Google Play Store. But before that, hackers could easily distribute fake versions of updates to popular programs with malware hidden inside. This new policy should help to keep you safer, but the jury's still out on how much this really means since Google doesn't do nearly as much for curating apps as you get on the Apple App Store. Of course, there may be great apps out there for the Android that aren't in Google Play, and you may be tempted to get an app from one of these other providers. I'm not saying that you should never do this, but understand that you're taking a risk. Your best bet is to do your due diligence and research the author of the app and the distribution channel. Just look for anything negative posted online about either. If all the results are positive, you should be okay, but again, there's no 100% guarantee. These days, Android is one of the top targets for cyber criminals, partly because it's so easy to create and distribute an app. You get an app that does something you want it to do, and the criminals get access to your smartphone and can do whatever they want with it and your personal information. So until the situation changes, we recommend you limit apps to what you can get on Google Play. That's both for paid and free apps. As always, my members can grab my printable tip sheet and get more detail and links to resources I've mentioned here. And if you find my tips useful, please share them with your friends. Clicking the like button is great also. And don't forget to become a member of Practical Help for Your Digital Life. Thanks for watching.